Hi, welcome. If this is your first time here, I'm Mina, and if you're interested in knowing more about Africa, please make sure you click on the subscription button to become part of this lovely family, because that's exactly what we do on this channel. And um, today, the aim is we want to explore Kumasi in Ashanti region. So basically, that's what we are doing today. So if you're interested, stay tuned, and please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new, and make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you end up liking it. So let's go have some more fun. go to town and we are making our first stopover at uh, the Fukofanochi Salt site. That is the first place we are making our first stopover to go and see how that place looks like. So let's go. We are at the Konfanochi salt site where he commanded the golden stool from the sky in the year 1965. By then, there was no Asante man but rather individual states where they wanted to unite and become one so they can fight their masters who were then the dangerous at the time. By then, the dentures, now the central region, were very powerful at the time and had already defeated the Adasi Empire. So, Kofanochi had a meeting here to unite with his chiefs to fight the dentures. So, during the meeting here, Okonfanochi commanded the golden stool from the sky and he landed on the then Asante King's lab, who is in the person of Osei Tutu I. So after the stool landed, all the chiefs were given sword to swear an oath of allegiance as well as the king, and all their individual tools were taken from them and buried here. And their fingernails, part of their heads were taken, burnt and added to palm wine, and Okonfuanochi made all the heads of states then drink it as a sign of covenant. So, part of the palm wine was used to pray over the buried stools, and the sword was placed in the middle and covered by a kofanochi and said to them, Our unity has been sealed. And hence told them, The day the sword will be taken out of the ground ends the sentiment. So, to date, libation is being poured on the sword annually. Oh, by the way, hope we all remember the story of Okonfanochi, how he followed the antelope and never returned back? Yes. So, this is a little story of um, Asantiman and how they came into existence. So, 
this is the end of today's video please if you are new here make sure you subscribe to become part of this lovely family and if you end up liking the video please make sure you like it yes <laughs> and i'll see you in my next video bye bye